name is Frances Fox and I'm a psychic researcher, psychic investigator. And I almost feel as if the Inquisition has ended and I'm able to talk about things now that I wasn't able to talk about when I discovered them many years ago. It turns out that human beings have an electrical body. I know science is looking for it now, but those of us in metaphysics, we found it a long time ago and we know that the electronics that we live under the influence of are basically killing us, particularly when we're under seven years of age. The reason for that is because this electrical body, an energy body that's part of our system, develops between zero and seven years of age. So it turns out that now science in other parts of the world are saying that children, young children, should not be close to electronics, should not use cell phones unless they use them for an emergency reason. So, but I'm going to show you because talking, talking is just plain talking. Okay? I'm going to show you something that a lot of us know that are in alternative and metaphysics, and it's something very interesting. Human beings have an energy field, and you can kind of check if um, somebody's um, healthy or strong by lifting their arm. You put your hand on the opposite shoulder, and okay, and you can see that I'm struggling to pull her arm down. She's strong, okay? Let me show you something. This is my electrical box. Go ahead and put your hand there, get comfortable, okay? Now, same person, okay? Strong. She can't keep it down. I don't have to make any effort. This is like, this is like nothing. Okay, now move away again. Okay, move away again. Come here. Let's try her again. She's away. She's not holding the electrical box. See, it's hard for me. People more gifted than I have come up with a type of, uh, type of devices. They're called radionics. This is done by, made by Antonio Asori, a Mexican shaman. Incredibly gifted man. And I'm simply going to place it on the electrical box which is where it was before we started this video. And we're going to try again. Okay? Kinesiology, which is what this is, muscle testing. Let's see if she's weak the way she was before or if she's stronger. Can you tell from the muscles in my neck that I'm straining? Okay? Take it off. Ditch it. Okay? I don't have to strain. I do not have to strain. <laughs> okay? What's the point? The point is that we've known this for an awful long time, and many of us have been afraid of establishment, uh, the Inquisition, that if we say this, that they will come back to us. But being it that Congress is now being advised by science, you know that religion, that electronics is bad for human beings, we want to share this with you so that you can make sure that your children, zero to seven years of age, are not raised or sleep in a room that's near a transformer, a pool pump, an air conditioning unit, or massive electronics. In other words, their bedroom and their head is not on the wall that's next to an electrical room, zero to seven years of age. That you, your children, or you as an adult, do not sleep with your head, where on the other side of the wall we have a pool pump, an air conditioning unit, or massive electronics and that if you're in the electronics field, you need to know that you should position yourself as far away as possible from electronics and try this simple muscle testing, which is called kinesiology, for you to be aware of the effect that it's having on you. Obviously, it's a multiplier effect. The longer you sleep in that wall, the longer that you work under those conditions, the more difficult things are. And you know what? We have a little bit of a solution. In addition to removing yourself from its influence by sleeping on another wall or another room, Sleeping, I say, because it's so many hours a day. Or by shifting where your computer desk is. Uh, one of the remedies is very inexpensive, and it's called Mother Earth. So Mother Earth has electric, electronic, excuse me, Mother Earth has electromagnetic energies, and they can counterbalance the electronics, which makes it even more important that with our children particularly, we make sure that they get enough of nature, particularly the element of Earth Mother Earth. Okay, I thank you. Go to our website. We have a lot of articles on electronics, what your electrical body looks like, which is called your etheric body. And I'm happy that the Inquisition is ending and that these truths can come out. Thank you.